today we're gonna see our latest additions to our collection. We'll give a brief overview of the games and what we like about them. We have My City Roll and Write or Roll and Build. I've seen the two versions of the name. So I'm not sure which one is correct. This one is Roll and Write. Funnily enough, the name is in English, but this version is in German. It was such a good deal that I had to take it, even though uh, I don't speak German at all. We bought it from the marketplace, the Facebook marketplace. So it was only $10, so I think we've played the, the basic My City before and we kind of liked it, so why not? This one is also a campaign, but it's a roll and write. There's 12 different episodes and basically it's getting harder and harder as you go. Uh, there's rules that are added to the game and on your turn basically you roll these two dice you connect the two circles together and it will give you the shape that you can place in your city and you have to start bordering the river and then you have to place all following tiles adjacent to that and you're gonna score points if you complete stuff if you cover other stuff if you don't cover stuff and whoever has the most points wins uh, also apparently you can flip shapes as opposed to the basic my city which was my biggest grief about the game i was like why can't you flip buildings doesn't it make sense <laughs> probably not but anyway in any other polyomino game i've ever played i could always flip tiles and in the basic my city i can't and it pisses me off but yeah you start like the very simple rules and then they're gonna add different colored buildings and then it's gonna add wells and then churches etc so looking forward to playing it i need to find first of all a translation of it and uh, then we can get going our next game is get on board new york and london you're a bus driver driving around new york or london depending on the play account and your goal is to score as many points as possible by picking up and dropping off different passengers along your bus line. It's a flip and write game, so every round a card will be flipped over and every player must react to the same card. The card will tell you how many rows you can place and which directions they must go in. You'll do things like pick up tourists and drop them off at landmarks, pick up students, visit schools, pick up old ladies, but you should generally avoid them. Every player is placing their roads on a shared board and you want to avoid the other players because they give you negative points in the form of traffic. And the last catch is it's like Snake. If you hit your own tail, you lose instantly. <laughs> this is another game we got off Facebook Marketplace from the same person as my city actually. It is a game that we'd already played quite a lot on Board Game Arena. But now that we've got it and introduced us to our friends, they all love it as well. It's been a blast. It's a relatively quick game, not too hard to teach, and it plays up to five, which is a huge bonus. We highly recommend it. Next one is Outfoxed. It's a little kids game, a co-op kids game actually. And if you know me, you know that I love deduction games a lot. Like I really, really do. And this is a little like introduction to deduction games and co-op games to kids. So it's very clever. You are chicken investigators <laughs> and you are trying to find who stole Mrs. Plumpet's pot pie. So there's one culprit who's a fox and you have lots of uh, cars that are suspects, they're all foxes, they all have different names. And on your turn, you can either like investigate, which is find a clue related to the, the actual culprit, or flip suspect cards to reveal more suspects uh, along the board. And what's very clever is at the beginning of the game, you're gonna put an actual culprit fox in the little plastic device. And when you investigate and pick up a clue token, you're gonna put it on top and then you're gonna reveal and if it shows that you have a white dot it means that the actual culprit doesn't wear this item if you have a green dot it means that the the culprit wears this item so if you have like a green dot with gloves it means that the culprit will, will be wearing gloves and then you can remove all the ones that are not wearing gloves for example we found it in an op shop for three dollars so I've read a lot about it, like a very good game for kids that is still fun for parents. So I really wanted to try it and I was like, at $3, it's a deal. So uh, I can't wait to try it out. <laughs> Our fourth newest game is Ark Nova. We finally got it. For those of you who don't know what Ark Nova is, you're managing a zoo. You build enclosures around your map to put animals in. You play the animals, they score you points and give you more income for the future. You can do other things like playing sponsor cards which give you little benefits. You can work towards conservation projects, like for example having five predators in your zoo. 
that could be one of your goals. And there's just a lot of different things you can do which keeps the game really exciting. It's a heavy game. It's now the heaviest game that we own. If you want to learn all the rules, it'll easily take upwards of 30 minutes. There's a lot of things you need to know, but I think once you start playing, it does become quite intuitive. And Facebook Marketplace strikes again. We got this unplayed for about $20 cheaper than any retail store. So very happy with the deal. It's become my favorite game of all time, and I can't wait for my friends to try it as well. And last one is Cascadia, but from the same guy that sold us Ark Nova. I've talked about this game a lot, I think, in my... I think it was in my top 20 and it also in my top 5 solos at one point. Uh, it's uh, one of my most played solo games actually. It's very chill, very relaxing. I like it. I, I prefer in multiplayer Calico, I think, because it's more cutthroat and I like that. But when you're playing by yourself, it's so chill, I love it. In Cascadia, you will be drafting combinations of tiles and tokens, animal tokens. So basically the tiles are habitats and the tokens are animals that can live in certain habitats. It's a double layered puzzle, so you're trying to match uh, the biomes together to score the most points, but at the same time you're trying to put the animals in certain spots to score points based on the animal cards that have been drawn in this game. I've been playing a lot of the website version of it. There's only the A objectives, so it's always the same. <laughs> and now we have the actual box. I am thrilled <laughs> to actually play all the other cards. I saw that at the end there's like some kind of campaign slash achievement stuff when you're playing solo and I can't wait to play it. It looks very fun. Lots of little, different little challenges and stuff. Awesome. So those are our five newest board games. What's your newest board game? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and bye!